infection which has which has been developed in the hospital other than that for any other cause the patient has been admitted to the hospital the infection should not be present neither it is incubating at the time of admission mind it okay so if the patient has developed hospital acquired a pneumonia that means at the time of admission the patient should not be having symptoms of the disease neither the organism will be incubating in the patient okay so this is another important uh, definition which has to be satisfied then the third criteria is symptoms should appear at least 48 hours after the hospital admission so i repeat so hai or healthcare associated infection has got three components in in the definition the first criteria is he, he should be admitted for some other reason but not for the infection which he has developed and you are uh, you, uh, you are naming that as hai not for that infection he, he should be admitted to the hospital for some other reason and the infection should appear at least the uh, the symptoms should appear at least after 48 hour of admission and at the time of admission the symptoms should not be present of course and the organism must not be incubating also the, that means the acquire acquisition of the organism should have happened only after the admitting to the hospital okay so also remember that hai should also include the infection acquiring the hospital but symptoms appearing after discharge uh, suppose the patient has has been discharged today then they say that if the symptoms will appear on the day of discharge or on the next day of discharge on the day of discharge or on the next day of discharge if the symptoms will appear and uh, later on on the laboratory investigation if you if you find that it's a kind of hospital acquired infection then you have to level this as a type of hospital acquired infection not or uh, not community infection so, uh, so remember that infection which happens inside the hospital the symptoms should appear after a 48 uh, 48 hours of admission and it and it should also include those infection where the symptoms will appear after the discharge also okay if the patient has acquired the organism in the hospital the symptom is appearing immediately after the discharge maybe on the day of discharge or on the next day of discharge then you should level that infection as hai okay and one more important uh, uh, component of hai is occupational exposures needle stick injury uh, related transmission so any kind of occupational exposure also is included for hai the classical example include hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv all this can be acquired through the needle stick injury to the healthcare workers in the hospital and those are also classical example of hai hospital acquired infection or also called as healthcare associated infection so now we will see uh, what are the various factors that will influence the occurrence of hai first is immune status of the patient uh, you can ask me that the healthcare workers are present always in the hospital environment so so the patient and healthcare workers are exposed to same sort of organisms then why the patient will acquire the organisms and will develop hai but why not the healthcare workers the answer to this question is patients are immunologically compromised but not the healthcare workers okay so any reason for which the host immunity will be uh, will be compromised will be a predisposing factor for the hai to occur okay uh, that is why uh, patients have a 100 fold higher risk of acquiring hai than the healthcare workers then come into hospital environment hospital environment how it is different than community environment hospital organisms are multi drug resistant okay uh, remember that hospital organisms are multi drug resistant then the community organisms which are usually susceptible organisms why the reason is the patient will be on antibiotics in the hospital and because of overuse of antibiotic that uh, uh, that will create antibiotic pressure and in presence of antibiotic pressure the organisms tend to mutate tend to develop resistance as a result of which uh, on a long term basis the susceptible organisms will will slowly develop a, a, a resistance 
and slowly slowly the hospital environment the flora will be replaced by a set of resistant bugs therefore uh, remember that hospital organisms are multi drug resistant and therefore they can they can infect the uh, the patients who are on antibiotic as well okay so uh, that is how hospital organisms are more uh, lethal than the uh, community organisms of course hospital environment is having more uh, uh, burden of organisms than the community organisms okay they say that the community environment will have less burden of uh, microorganism than the hospital environment so hospital environment also is equally important because it is studded with uh, microorganisms next is the diagnostic or various therapeutic interventions what we do to the patient the classical example is a device associated infection okay so the divide associated infection again the three important examples are uh, catheter associated uh, uti central line associated bloodstream infection okay uh, central line associated uh, bloodstream infection and ventilator associated uh, pneumonia so all these three diseases that is uti bloodstream infection and pneumonia these three are associated with insertion of some of the other devices uh, for example catheter a uh, urinary catheter central line and ventilator so please remember if you do any diagnostic or therapeutic interventions that will give an access for the organism to invade into the body and will cause various ha and of course transfusion transmitted infection okay so the blood transfusion itself is a very important intervention that may carry organism and will transmit to the or, or, or to the individual and the most important risk factor which will affect ha is poor hospital administration especially the especially the government setup where the patient load is tremendous and the nurse to bed ratio is very very less in in those setup the uh, hospital acquired infection occurrence is much higher okay?